Well, good morning, everyone. This is the Spade Farm Covered Bridge, also known as the Old Hollow Covered Bridge. And it's a covered bridge that crosses a storm drainage ditch off of Route 7 here in Ferrisburg, Vermont. This is Patricia, and I am traveling for history. Uh, the bridge design, the uh, truss design, is a town lattice design, and the build, bridge was built by Justin Miller. As we head inside, uh, so the Old Hollow Bridge name is because it used to be on Old Hollow Road in Ferrisburg. The state wanted to build a new bridge, and they were going to dismantle this one. So Sam Spade, the owner of what had been a farm here, asked if he could have the bridge instead to cross, as I said, the drainage ditch. And um, here it sits now. Let's go inside. Let's cross this deep snow here and go inside. I do see this, um, this right here. Sign Ooh, I have a friend with me. <laughs> I've walked into her. I'm now here with my cane. It's, it's not a good day to be my friend today. <laughs> anyway, I, I do see this sign right here saying, List it in Vermont, the Green Mountain State Vacation Guide. So. You may be surprised to know that this is not on the National Register of Historic Places. Seems like um, all the covered bridges I filmed thus far have been listed, and they were listed in 1974. What's neat about this bridge is that there are some old advertising posters still visible. And I'm trying to read what that says. I'm not sure what that is. Mayo's cut plug. What's it? Mayo's cut plug. Mayo's cut plug. Okay. Um, so, as we go along, oh, and this one down in front of us, Mayo's, oh, that's the Mayo's cut plug. The uh, one above here, Coffin, oh, coffin cold. Something coffin cold. Oh, bronchitis. Maybe we can help each other figure that out. But that one's definitely metal. Oh, and another one here. I don't know about you, but this is one of the neatest things I've seen inside of a covered bridge. No idea what that says at all. It's too much is gone. And then over here... There's something uh, maybe painted on it, something light, D-light, and the rest of it is behind a pallet. I'm not going to touch the pallet. Uh, this is Vermont flannel stuff. Now this uh, bridge, you used to be able to drive over, but it's foot traffic now only. The town lattice truss is a pretty old design. It was, uh, it was um, Invented by Ithiel Town, an architect. And I see one up here. For boys' clothing, visit the Burlington Clothing Company, A. N. Percy, manager, 118 Church Street. Highly likely, like, like, like that was in Burlington, Vermont. Mayo, the Mayo cut plug is across lots of places on this bridge. I wonder, that looks like it had been an advertisement for an advertisement right there. Oh, and we have something over here. Some more stuff I can tell you about this. So the Spade Farm Covered Bridge was originally located in North Ferrisburg, Vermont on Old Hollow Road. Um, and in 1958, a local farmer, Sam Spade, as I said, asked to have it moved to his farm. But despite the sign on the bridge stating a build date of 1824, historians say a date of 1850 is likelier. The bridge is still privately owned, and it was falling into disparate repair because since it was privately owned, it was no longer eligible for state and or federal funding. Now, something else to think about. So after it was moved, Sam Spade owned it. It wasn't uh, good enough. It wasn't good for federal funding. 
But then uh, after Sam Spade, someone else bought the property and they fixed it. In fact, uh, one person who had visited the bridge said that that um, he was chased off, nearly chased off by, a, a, was it a gaggle of geese? And um, there were holes in the floorboards. And uh, I was saying to a friend, if I walked through a bridge that had uh, holes in the floorboard, I would likely fall through those floor, the, the floorboards because of my weight. But, um, but still. In the sense, something yeast, magic yeast, for the, for perfect bread. <laughs> and then I just realized this flooring here is painted in a flannel. Um, looks like flannel, and it is a Vermont flannel company after all. We'll come back and look on the other side. Although there are soft spots, but who doesn't like? I don't know what that says at all, but it's pretty nifty. And to keep going. Yeah, they do ask you not to smoke in here. And it will pay you to attend the Albany, is that Albany High School? Hmm. What do you think it says? Enough, nice double bag here, bike, uh, bike here. Alrighty, and then there's this sign here. Buy your pianos and organs at Reed's Music Store, Edward M. Reed, Burlington, Vermont. Let's see if I can get a closer picture for you. Look at that. By the way, you can look at all my pictures on both Instagram and Facebook, at Traveling for History. That's one L in traveling. And let's see. We've seen this sign before. I love the signage. That's one of the best parts of the bridge. Herrick's. German liniment for horses, cattle, etc. I like when they're readable. Oh, I see something painted up here. It's Burlington, Vermont. Clip. I have no idea what that says. It's uh, it's frustrating, but perhaps uh, with more eyeballs on it, we can figure it out. Oh, and look at this one. That's nice and sideways here. Gold coin, stoves and ranges, sold by Perry, Reedy and Company, Heinsberg, Vermont. I suppose I should paint, take it like that. And look at how thick these support beams are. So, these are used for tightening the truss. So, it means hammering this back in even more. So, I'm guessing this is tapered. Um, but, uh, pretty interesting. Well, I see this used to have this used to have some sort of advertisement on it, but if, alas, it is missing now. And there was another advertisement of some sort back there. But, oh, and there's something that was here. And you see this one is, is hammered in more, so this needed more tightening, but these braces, oops, these braces, look how thick they are. And um, 
you can see where it appears they used an axe on here. Kind of interesting. Oh, there's a different one. Thank you. Yeah, Mayo's Cut Plug, our friend and neighbor that's been along all these trusses. And then uh, Union Leader. Isn't that a, 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 a automotive? I want to say it's an automotive thing. I'll have to research that when I get home. Is that a bird's nest up there? Not this time of the year, of course. But maybe it's just vines growing. All right, let's head down the uh, other side and see what, uh, what we have there. Alrighty, so this, uh, I'm guessing this is some sort of pond uh, drainage ditch thing. Um, and then, of course, the, the bridge would had, was crossing it. So, but it's a beautiful view. It's just lovely. Alright, now looking, let's go back inside of this bridge. Lots of lights. Um, all that right there, the base, those are all lights. <clears throat> Has some interesting ski ski lifts in here. That is fully rusted. And that's just a warning sign. More another union reader, a cut plug. You know, since I wonder if Mayo's bought out Union Leader, or if Union Leader bought out cut plug. I mean, bought out Mayo's because the signage is so similar. I mean, including this piece right here in the center. Huh. I think you're right. Interesting. And then look at all the uh, nails right here. Someone wanted to make sure their, their, their advertising stayed up, but in the end it did not. Some graffiti as well. It's fascinating about graffiti. You know how much I hate it. And yet, this is clearly old and it's kind of interesting. So maybe, maybe down the road, long after I've kicked the bucket, people will say, oh, that paint there is so interesting. I have a friend with me today, and she's just laughing behind me here. <laughs> Let's see. There we go. By the light running, Jay Brown, something something machine sold in JV Page, Burlington, Vermont. What should we do with the something something said? <laughs> well, again. Oh, brown sewing machine. What is it? Brown or grown sewing machine. Grown sewing machine? Yeah. Huh. Looks like a G. And then definitely sewing machine. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So, looks like a grown sewing machine. Huh. See, this is why it's great to have a bunch of eyeballs looking at something. So, we were pondering the windows when we were sitting in the car looking at the bridge from the parking lot. And um, when I was on the Preservation Burlington TV show, I was talking about a covered bridge which had windows that were higher up than this. So the host, uh, Ron Wanamaker, was saying that he had read that the reason the windows are so high in a covered bridge is so when horses were crossing, they weren't uh, frightened of being up that high. So that's why the, the windows were higher, but I think these windows are kind of low for a horse. Um, so we were also wondering if these windows were were put in after the covered bridge was moved. 
but the but the wind not the wind the uh, wood looks as aged as the rest of the bridge so I don't know what to tell you but that that was my thinking um, it was a vehicular bridge but then when it was moved it became foot traffic only I wonder this is not an ore cart I'm going to say on the side American something fire American Size. Vulcan vulcanized fiber company Wilmington Delaware I was wondering to, so maybe this is a laundry cart It is on wheels. It just wheels in the center. Looks like it. <laughs> Could see. be material cart for walks or a material cart for what? I can see I have homework. <laughs> I have to find out more about these companies because I wasn't expecting anything to be in here. Oh yeah, that's ma more of that magic yeast for the perfect bread. <laughs> Science. All right, another sign way up there. Oh, something butter. Another ski lift chair. Another one for the, uh, let's see. All right, so, oh, so we have this right here. Turner Neuralgia. So, Turner's Neuralgia, I'm guessing it's some sort of quote-unquote medication. We want to keep in mind that uh, medications and painkillers um, of a hundred something years ago were mainly alcohol or even cocaine. Drugs like that that you don't want to, perhaps in your body. It will pay you to attend the Albany business, probably school. Okay, I was wondering what that sign over there said. And now we can see that. And then over here up above, For bargains and clothing, hats and caps, A. N. Percy, manager, 118 Church Street. Very likely in Burlington, Vermont. There is a light right there. Okay. And then for the ski lift, has a sign right here. Antique ski chairs, great to admire. We would like to keep them well preserved. Please don't sit or play on. You know, for that, I hope they have humans in here reminding people not to let their kids or even adults do stupid things. Now, it looks like this is original flooring here. Looks like this window has hinges, so maybe it had a some sort of window cover, door cover, window cover for that that they could close. And then we have this mantle. <laughs> Looks like it's for a coal stove as opposed to a regular fireplace. Of course, we have a toboggan or a sled. It's really long. See, how many people can sit in that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Looks like seven people can sit on that. And if people are really silly, like most kids I know, some, most, some adults I know, maybe eight, nine. <laughs> <laughs> well, you see, this is a newer addition, this stuff in here. Uh, 
the Mayo's Cut Plug. Now, see, this is what, one thing I hate about graffiti. Even though it has interesting dates, they did it over, over um, an advertisement. It looks like there's more to this sign up there. So, um, Andes, Andes uh, Stoves and Ranges, sold by Perry Reed and Company, Heinsberg, Vermont. But I'm guessing there was another letter before um, the A-N-D-E-S. And look how old these beams up here are, too. Amazing, isn't it? In fact, look at the structure above our heads. Wow. And anything else above my head? Nice old wheelbarrow here. That's a big wheel on the front, too. That's cool. That's cool. Old shutter. Look at that pickaxe. I'm just admiring the work in here, so. When you see this beam, and uh, let me show you the beam a bit closer. There are spots that are very iffy in this. I mean, you can see, uh, I mean, this is plywood, and stepping on it, it, uh, it, it bows right here. So, um, so let me show you. So look at this. You shouldn't be able to do that. That should not be able to press down where the board actually moves down a little bit. That's not the kind of give we want in wood. <laughs> so we can see that these, these two boards are actually laminated. So, hmm. I will film from right here. <laughs> we see that it's actually two boards that have been uh, laminated together or nailed together. Maybe they're just nailed together. And you can see it. Right there. See, there's a line. So. All right. One more look all the way down through this bridge. Step up here. Um. This is the Spade Farm Covered Bridge, also known as the Old Hollow Covered Bridge in Ferrisburg, Vermont. Right off of Route 7. So, if you use Google Maps, it'll get you here when you call it the Spade Farm Covered Bridge. This is Patricia, and I'm traveling for history. Hope you'll follow me on all my social media. Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Traveling for History, One Alan Traveling. My website, TravelingForHistory.com, also One Alan Traveling. If you go to Twitter, I'm traveling for high one, traveling for H-I numeral one. I upload every day, so come say hi. Oh, and when my videos premiere, I'll premiere at 12.30 a.m. And um, the ones that say premiere on them are a live chat with yours truly. So come on down and let's talk. On that note, thanks for watching. This is Patricia. I'm traveling for history until I see you again.